In this next segment of the Connection Tags workflow, we will discuss how to synchronize the connection tags assigned and designed in STAD Pro with your structural detailing software, such as ProStructures or Tecla. For this example, we will show the workflow from STAD Pro to ProStructures. However, this workflow is bidirectional, so it can begin in either ProStructures or STAD. Starting in ProStructures, with a blank model, we can import the steel structural model from STAD Pro. Let's start by going to the File menu, going to Import, going to Pro Structures File Types, and then we are going to choose New from Repository. So we're pulling the structural steel model with the connection tags into Pro Structures from our iTwin repository. We're going to now navigate to our folder where we want to pull in our information from. I'll go to my iTwins folder. Here I have two models or repositories saved. I'll select the one I want. And here I can use this dialog box uh, to transfer the information directly from the iTwin model into ProStructures. Here we can see some mapping taking place um, and there are some sections that don't map. These are the tapered sections. But other than that, all the other members and materials mapped properly. The data was imported successfully and we can see here we can enlarge these views and take a look. So where we had tapered members, uh, those members did not come in. All of our other structural steel sections did come in. Um, and then we, with our selection tool, we can review the data that's attached to these members by right-clicking and going to PS Properties, Pro Structure Properties. Here you'll see that the connection tags that we assigned in STAD Pro are now listed at the ends of each member. Uh, so you can review that and also you can coordinate that with your connection detailing. So as we review here each member uh, separately you can go through and go to the connection tag information details. You can also see other information about the shape type here. This is a W21 by 44 um, and other things like the position uh, how it was placed in STAD Pro. So there's some, a lot of great information that you can review by clicking on PS Properties. Uh, for these tapered sections, there, there is still some additional information in here um, that we can use. So for example, the connection tags are still listed there, but you would have to remodel the tapered section. This concludes our video, so thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.